To explain in basic terms, internet is provided to the Falkland Islands through a geostationary satellite. This stays in the same position as the Earth orbits, but as it is a long way from Earth, download speeds are low and bandwidth is expensive. What people are asking for is access to Starlink, the internet network being built by Elon Musk's SpaceX. This network, when complete, will utilise a series of low Earth orbital satellites that in theory provide uninterrupted coverage. They operate at a closer level to the Earth and orbit at a faster speed. If you look up in the night sky, you're likely to see the satellite network passing over, meaning that it's a faster internet network as the signals have less distance to travel. Each individual connecting to Starlink will utilise a kit, which includes a receiver on the ground that is commonly known as a VSAT. In the Falklands, the use of personal VSATs are heavily licensed, which means that they are unattainable for wider use. We have a contract with Shaw that the last assembly entered into, um, which does prohibit uh, people providing their own satellite links. I actually campaigned prior to being elected against that, but that is the agreement we have and that is the agreement we have to work to. Um, and in the next coming uh, weeks, we'll be discussing with government officers the process and procedure for looking at what the other options are for broadband in the Falklands. The government currently have a national broadband contract with Shaw, which will end in 2022, the same year that SpaceX are targeting for Starlink to become available in this area. FITV have contacted the regulator and the Attorney General's office, but no one was available for interview. However, the government have sent the following statement. The Falkland Islands government is looking into the options surrounding new satellite provision for broadband with a view to the national broadband contract ending in December 2022. An update on this work will be provided to the public in due course. The community will also be aware that currently there are licensing requirements for the use of VSATs and the current licence fee is £5,400. Do you think it's fair that people have not been able to have the choice? of which internet provider they want and they're at the moment they're sort of being blocked from getting Starlink? Um, I think it went through due process. I'm sure it went through due process so therefore I think from the government's point of view it would be seen as being fair. I, I, I actually uh, spoke at the select committee uh, prior to uh, f with the last assembly against uh, their having this legislation about satellite dishes but uh, that was, they chose to, to ignore that for various reasons. And, and I'm sure you know, that there were some good reasons as to why they chose to ignore the, 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 the uh, comments of myself and, and lots of other people who went to that select committee at that time. FITV have also tried to contact Shaw for a comment, but at the time of recording, they have not got back to us. SpaceX were also unavailable to comment on the situation. There are lots of unknowns about Starlink and indeed other LEO systems that are being worked on at the moment. And questions still remain over whether or not they will be a viable solution, especially considering that the low orbits of these satellites mean that they have a shortened lifespan. But clearly the internet service at the moment is not good enough for many residents. We are uh, aware of the requirement to um up the standard of, of internet links from the islands and I think Shaw probably also recognised that. Um, so, you know, we'll be working together to try and make sure that we move uh, things forwards in the, in the near future. The regulator is currently running a user habit survey which will be live until the end of May to look at the way islanders use the internet and this information will be used to inform future decisions taken on internet provision in the Falklands.